Hey guys, it's Deadeye, and welcome back to Junk Punk. If you haven't already seen it, I made a video on how to build a basic starter house in this game, so I'll leave that down in the description. But today I want to go over the basics of machinery. So to start off with, as you may already know, this is going to take a lot of scrap materials, which you can find all over the map in various different piles. The ones to look out for are going to be plastic, electronics, which is maybe the most important one, as well as any rare metal piles if you can find them. And we'll get into the reasons for their importance in a moment, but first let's take a look at what we have here. So shredders are able to grind down a variety of different scrap materials. The most important one being plastic scrap, because you'll need shredded plastic in order to make plastic ingots, which you can make in the smelter. That's the second machine we have here. The smelter is also able to make all other sorts of ingots, steel ingots, copper ingots, and so on, but those you can use using just basic scrap. You don't need to shred those down. And again, this is why finding plastic around the map will be very important, as plastic will be a key material in a lot of what you're building. Now moving on to the final significant machine here, we have the fabricator. The fabricator can make a variety of different items, including a power cable, although you can also make that at the crafting bench, whereas the basic processor, capacitor, and resistors are all specific to the fabricator and will be necessary in making more advanced machinery. The basic processor is probably the most difficult to make, although you can find a lot of the materials within electronic scrap, which is why that's probably your most important scrap to be finding. And in electronic scrap, you can actually find basic processors, which will cut down a lot of your work. I usually find electronic scrap high up in the mountains. Plastic scrap has a really weird color to it, and so you can usually spot that easy. Now do keep in mind, all these machines need to be powered, but only require two power in order to run. So when the wind is good, you could use one turbine in order to charge multiple of your machines. But taking all this information, you might be asking yourself, what would be the point of doing all this work? What do I get out of it? That's actually what I'd like to show up to you now, the industrial laser. In order to make the industrial laser, you do need processors as well as capacitors, both of which can be made in the fabricator, and it will also take quite a lot of power. That's why I'd recommend building four windmills, as well as a power merger, which can merge four different power lines. With this and the current high amount of wind, I'm actually generating 32 power, but you'll only need 15 in order to run the laser. Meaning with this, you could actually run two lasers if you wanted to. Now connecting these, the laser is able to run, and let me go ahead and turn it on. Now the laser will shoot out. Unfortunately right now, you can see it's not actually hitting any of the scrap, but something you're able to do now is raise the laser. And there it goes, hitting some scrap, and we should be able to see within the laser that it's actually collecting that scrap. If you wanted to, you could take this laser and put it somewhere where you have a whole long line of scrap to gather and just have it slowly blast through all of it collecting for you. If you want a video on a more advanced machining setup or are curious how to make a farm within the game, let me know down in the comments and I'll get working on it. But that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.